just a quick reminder out there, hey, if you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, you need to click the bell to, uh, to get real-time notifications anytime we put a new video out there with, you know, uh, charts and market updates and uh, any kind of alerts, anything like that. So remember, if you have subscribed, if you would like to get those alerts, then click the bell. If you're just now subscribing, uh, simply click the bell while you're subscribing right there, and you will be notified. Thanks a bunch. I sure do appreciate it. You guys, take care. There we go. Now I think I'm all I'm all set up here. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday to you. Uh, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having, let me have a little time off yesterday. Uh, it was a nice day. It's a nice day. Um, yeah, Rick. Yeah, they're kicking me out tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, Monday I'll be um, back at my home base here. My other computer, different mic. If you don't like this mic, I don't know if you guys do or not. Not, but. Uh, be on the other mic. That seems better. So um, yesterday, here I'm going to run over here to uh, change this to not real time. Um, yesterday was absolutely fabulous. Uh, what a nice day. We had a little pullback um, Thursday, which you know, you you move up this many days, you uh, battle with a major moving average. Um, you battle with that major moving average, you know, you could see a little bit of a pullback here. And we did. Uh, yesterday was absolutely fantastic, a turnaround, and we came back up. One thing I really want uh, to bring to notice here is how um, price, that's kind of big, isn't it? Let's change that. There we go. Price has been above the T-line. Right. Notice how price got a little bit far from the T line. Just take note of that. You know, it's one of those little um, tricks to the side that can help out. Notice how the uh, T line, the black line, is trading above the trendicator. Right, those green dots. That's just one of those little. It's a. It's very simple, and it's a little helpful. Um, thing to look at on a chart. Um, it, it just it kind of keeps you going in the right direction. And if you are a trader, which I think you should be, where you accept pullbacks in a trend, you know, if you if you've done any trend study, you know there's pullbacks in a trend. And um, so yesterday was not a reason to panic. Being so high was not a reason to panic the day before, but we are high enough, you know, being up, what, one, two, three, four, five, what was this, Wednesday, I guess, Wednesday, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six days, the, the, the idea of a pullback after six days is much stronger than just absolute continue continuing up the next day. If we did continue up and we moved up seven days, then it just becomes um, just super high probability we're going to have that pullback. No one can actually predict when the pullback is going to come. So that's where we get into some micromanaging. You want to be a little careful with that. And, and just follow the trend. Again, use price, use the T-line, use the trend indicator. Um, yes, I'm very concerned that the 50-period moving average is below the 200. Yes, I am. But that's number two because the trend is still looking good. Yes, I'm concerned that we're going to have trouble with the February highs. Yes, I'm very concerned. But the trend, trend, that's not... Let me change this blue here. Blue, there we go. Uh, the trend is still bullish. And that's this is what swing trading is about right here. So 
Um, oh, yeah, one other thing uh, somebody mentioned to me yesterday in, in an email, and we still have all the horrible news out there. We do. You know, inflation, uh, Russia, Ukraine, it's still there. But this is what we pay attention to, the trend. Okay? Just want to point that out. Um, let's go look at some charts. I do want to. I'm only going to look at about. Uh, I'll, I'll look at the top five. Top five does not mean that it's the top five uh, that I think is the top five. It's just the way they are on this list right here. If you'd like to see the balance, and I believe there is 12, 13 of them, you can certainly run over to the blog and take a read of um, Ed's. Uh, some news that Ed put out there uh, on the market and just trading news in general. Uh, worthwhile to read that before you kick your day off. Right way option, Doug also want, does one in right way options. Take a look at that one. Um, also, too, Tuesday night, I posted a list of about 45 stocks uh, for the folks that were at the Tuesday night e learning. I'm still working off that list. Uh, we don't. I, I to to simplify trading. Um, you want to keep you, your 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 list cultivated. This is true. You want to you want to add to your list. You want to cultivate your list. Add to it. Cultivate your list. Um, but just to show you how, <coughs> excuse me, you don't have to run off and you know every new shiny thing that pops up or every new little news gimmick that flashes, you don't have to chase all that. <clears throat> you can, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sorry. You know, um, this is the same list I've been using uh, since Tuesday. And if we come over here and well, let's do it this way. There we go. Uh, look at it. Tuesday. So this is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, uh, four days back. So this is when I put that stock there on the watch list. So all you have to do is manage, follow, follow, uh, you know, um, um, your your um, follow the list and then follow your your entry setups. Uh, I mean, we can go through. We'll find some of these that have just popped up. You can see how these are rallying up. Let me get up there. Uh, look at this one here. Look at RTX on the list. Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. So that money's right in there. Could have been made. There's a lot of stocks doing that just from that list. Just go poke through them. Uh, you'll find them. Here's another one. VLO. Um, I, I said Friday. Actually, that's Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. I was calling that Friday. Sorry, it's not Friday. Last candle's not Friday. So anyway... Um, you know, if you if for those that that grab that list, just keep using it because it. You you know your watch list is not about oh I'm picking a stock today, and boom, if it doesn't work today you kick it off. That's not what you want to do. Really isn't. All right, sorry to keep yakking about this. Let's go look at about five of these. Okay, so I'm going to turn real time on now here so we can kind of see what it's doing this morning so far. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with a pop out of the box uh, chart pattern, but this is this is it right here. Uh, it's also a rounded bottom breakout for the bigger chart pattern. You can clearly see we have a very nice trend in this. You can see we've rallied up and we've rested. This is one I want to keep an eye on. And right now I'm looking about the top of the box here uh, as a good. Uh, good swing area, and then reevaluate from up there. Uh, Roku is setting up. Here we have this. Uh, it's a morning star type signal. We've rallied up. Here's another one of these uh, pop out of the box, tight trading range chart setups right here. Um, you can see this morning we popped up a little bit. We're pulling back. I'm looking at this area right here, 171 as a good swing target. And and that that is not at all you know, I'm not at all thinking that we're just gonna have one, two, three, four, five days up, all green. I'm not thinking that at all. Charts don't work that way. And and uh so 
if it wants to flutter around today and then pop up and then just, you know, set back a little bit at the 50, which that would be a no-brainer that that might happen, and work its way up like that, that's what I'm looking for. And for about, what was that, 39% from this bottom here. PayPal is another one setting up. There's a nice little rally. Uh, this one here, we've come off of, see, we've broken out of these highs, setting up for that pop out of the box right here. Nice little pop out of the box setup. Uh, you've got to deal with the 50. It it certainly may stumble there just a little bit. Absolutely. You, 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 to me, I go into trading, I see a major moving average. I see resistance. I see support. Um, I see uh, a little bit of stumble with price action, but it's price action we're looking at. So we want to watch how the stumble is. Good place to take profits, a good place to make entries is at major moving averages. Here's a 28% move right up here to that 144 area. Uh, ZG, look at this one, 50% move is what I'm kind of looking at this one here. Uh, again, we've got that pop out of the box, that tight trading range right in here. Uh, we've rallied up. Here we are sitting on the 50 moving, period moving average. So here we came up to it, and this is this is this is this is showing that the 50 period moving average is acting as um, that questionable area, uh, that resistance area. Even though we're above it, it's acting as resistance. That's what's keeping it from moving up. But it's also acting as support. That's what's keeping it moving down. I know we're above it. I know we are. But that's the, the chart went up, and now it's like, oh, my goodness. Should I have really done that? I'm thinking about it. That's what's happening here. So when it's done thinking about it and the bulls step in and kick it up higher, to me, there's a 50% move. Um, yes, you're going to have to deal with this top up here. This is why we learn how to trade, how to deal with that top. How, what are we going to do? Are we going to take some profits? Are we going to let it run? Are we going to monitor? Everybody's a little different. Uh, let's look at hubs, HUBS, another one that's running up, pulled back, about a 19% move to that uh, 560 area for you big spenders out there. Man, a $560 chart, 19, 20% move, woof, that's bucks. Look at hood. Hood is still setting up. A couple of these were on... Uh, uh, day before yesterday's watch list. Yeah, a couple of these. And, and even yesterday, if you went to the blog, there were some stocks in there. Um, See so that little rally up, and here we pull back. Nice, nice. A couple that's popping up on the um, uh, scanner pre-market here. Take a look at uh, Val, V-A-L. Look at that beautiful trend right here. Uh, am I concerned about this top? Sure I am. Is this the best place to buy it? For some people, yes. For some people, no. Some people are going to wait till it breaks out. What I'm looking at is not the hard right edge entry. I'm looking at the overall chart and what a nice chart that is, and I'll wait for it to come to my uh, pocket, my comfort zone to buy it. Um, take a look at Clove, C-L-O-V. Look at that beautiful trend. Now, these are what's popping up on the scanner right now pre-market. Uh, beautiful trend here. Uh, the last few days, you can see how we pulled back here, and now we're starting to rally up. Look at that pullback. Do you think we could rally a little bit more? I sure do. Uh, CHPT. C CHPT, yeah. Look at that nice trend that's working there. A little pop out of the box. Can we get to the 200? I think so. Um, there's there's several others here. But here, let's cut this off now. Uh, thank you, everybody. Appreciate you being here. And we'll see you here when the market opens up in about uh, 20 minutes, okay? Thanks for listening in. I do appreciate it. And you guys have a great Friday. Take care.